it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was asleep. I don't really, you know, I often think of myself as a challenging sleeper, even when I was a kid. Yeah, don't turn the mic on. Move out and move up. Move up by about to where almost where Jake is. Did you guys see? Did you guys see that? What? Did you guys see what's flying up in the air? It's really good. It's really, really good juice. I'd love some more. I'd love some more juice. I'd love some more flying cats. We looked up in the air and we saw all these flying cats. Miniature flying cats. Anyway, could just have been a bat, but I really found it disorienting. It was really disorienting. It was really, really disorienting. I heard this vibrational sound and it was around my head and it was over by the window or whatever I just woke up confused but it's like when you have your sunroof open your car and you're going too fast like on the 406 or the 420 or the QEW or flying through space flying through space like a miniature flying cat this is not a so I woke up and there was a there was a bat flying all over my apartment. It was in my room. It was really startling. And so after kind of whapping the pillow around and hoping to somehow help the situation, getting all the lights on and getting the front door open, hanging out more by the front door with the big roll of paper taken from my daughter's studio. Big massive dowel, big roll of white paper, probably three feet long. Kind of using that, wanting to kind of whap the bat out the front door. Hopefully not have to hurt it, but hopefully solve the problem quickly. And then I didn't know where it went. Later on, next day, finding out light, daylight, artificial lights probably, being scared, might cause it to hide. So anyway, I went for a long walk. And I'd been in this one neighborhood earlier, and I was really surprised by it, because you come off Welland Street, and it feels a bit ghetto, and you go into this beautiful, almost magical, mythological street. Not really as much as I just made it sound, but still really beautiful, and with garden growing down the middle of the street. Nice houses and verandas, and well insulated with mature trees. Yeah. I really yeah. thought, wow, yeah. I could really love yeah. to live here. Yeah. And later on, after the yeah. bad episode, I'm walking back there and I remember it's like Wolseley Street. So you go off north or west, Coyote or Wolf. northwest, whatever it is in St. Catharines, everything's turned around funny. And there was a black yeah. cat. Yeah. And it startled me because the night already felt so symbolic and mythological. Having a bat fly around in my apartment, waking up to that, and being on a stretch of so many strange things happened. Falling off a ladder into a rose bush. And there was this black cat, didn't seem threatening, and it didn't cross my path. And I managed to be able to talk to it a little. I just like to make friends with it or see if it's friendly. But I kept going and I walked towards the garden at a transverse angle, running down the street back to that same neighborhood. And suddenly this, what I took to be a coyote right away, it was more than just a domestic dog running. It was a coyote, but it was looked really large, but looked really graceful, and it looked almost like it was flowing through water instead of running. Everything felt like it was not a full moon. I think the moon was more of a crescent, thin. But it was odd. And I just decided, oh, okay, wow. I'm just going to head back the other way. And I walked past the black cat and I warned him. I sort of said, hey, you might want to know this big wolf or coyote or whatever, which felt really like it came out of a fairy tale almost. But I don't know, it was probably just a coyote. It definitely was not someone's pet. The cat probably knew about it already. And then I basically walked home. Tried to go to sleep. Sleep's challenging anyway, often. Often no big deal though, because you end up in other mind worlds. They seem worth it too. You're not painting this picture, are you? I don't know, I should. <laughs> feel more like drawing than painting. I'd love to do a winged cat, but... Oh, I think I will. I'd imagine... The miniature flying cat would be about the same size as the body of a bat, which looks large with its wingspan. But I'm imagining the body is really only about the size from the tip of your thumb to two knuckles away. That one segment being 
two and a half inches. Cat, just like that. Maybe with the tail. The length of one of the digits. Ready to sleep. Somebody gave me a little bottle of melatonin, and I just had one, but I didn't. That night, I'd had the melatonin for ages, these little white tablets, and I really didn't feel that comfortable taking them, even though they're quite natural and for a short period of time. Maybe it's like taking vitamin Black C. Man. What can you say? In a different Tests way. Tests in schools and mice and mice and and schools and mice and Made me feel really glowy right away, kind of restless legs, but I actually felt lighter and happier because I guess it goes hand in hand with sleep, something helping your mood. Ha, ha, ha.